they had a rookie offensive line and they pretty much just got dragged. They told them to order before you get, like, everybody get their own special bottle. Crystal, Louis XIII, Venice, yep. whatever you want. The vets get their own bottle. They told him, go to the liquor store and get the bottles before you get there. And the yep. fact that he didn't and didn't gift wrap them and all those types of things, they ordered from the bar. Ooh. And his ended up being about 30,000-ish, maybe, <laughs> just because he didn't. Welcome back to the Raw Room. We back and we back. All the angels out there, all the, you know, all type of angels. Just because you I say you're an angel, you could be the devil. The you devil was the uh, angel? You hit me. You hit me, but hey, y'all still angels. God damn it. Welcome back to the Raw Room. We in this bitch. We got a, uh, John gonna be here in a little bit. We got a new face, Nick. Nick, say what's up, man. Hey, we got to work on his mind, but he going to get there, baby. Don't you goddamn worry about it. But we in this bitch, and I, you know, you know, uh, Nick, these kids out there are going to this new Minions movie. Because <laughs> you look like you were part of the group. You feel me? Uh, motherfuckers walking in here with their suits on. I saw that Getting their ass put out. I think it's amazing, though. I don't mind it. I remember when we was in high school. Now, we weren't doing those. I mean, middle, yeah, high school, middle school time. We weren't doing silly shit like this. We was just going up there trying to get some numbers. You know why they? Saying? Why they? Why they keep it? Somebody, so like you saying they're they getting kept because they wearing suits? Well, they was coming in fifty deep, and they just getting loud in that bitch. Okay, know, okay, okay, okay. Just don't, but that makes sense. It's but, not because of the seats, though. I mean, the uh, no, suits. The trend no, but, is uh, they're called gentle minions. Gentle minions. <laughs> <laughs> These kids are clever. <laughs> it's clever, motherfuckers. Hell yeah. Yeah, but. That's what, you know, they got that going on. I don't know. I wouldn't kick them out, man. That shit cool, bro. Like, shit, they already buying all them tickets. You know, might as well let them boys. Yeah, they act, uh, acting loud, though, though. Getting the fuck about it. But them. they damn near 100 deep in there. They got the whole shit. Not really. Like like the whole theater? They're getting banned for, this is, quote, stunningly bad behavior. They're throwing shit. They're vandalizing the oh, theater. Okay, and oh, yeah, give them fuck about it. Oh, yeah. Give them the fuck about it. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bad-ass yeah. white kid. <laughs> Why you got to be white? How you know they want black? Love the video. I did see a black. <laughs> <laughs> I, Pull did, it up. I did see like one or two little black kids in that house. No, not not this video. All right, keep, show me one. <laughs> they got <laughs> Show me. You talking? Keep going. Keep going. Let me see. I thought what? I seen one, bro. I, maybe I did. Nah, you did. You see what? I swear. Yeah, uh, not, a, not a one. Hey, 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 he black. Oh, bruh. Yeah, I told you, bruh. <laughs> we ain't immune. Oh, bye. Whatever, whatever. I think it's all right, man. As long as they you just stop throwing shit, kids. But, you know, kids be kids, bro. Mm-hmm. You know, but it be like that. That shit crazy. But I was on the Have you seen it yet? No. Well, you're, 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 you're a kid. Like, so. But yeah. as soon as they get here, though, you yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna see that. Huh? Hell yeah, we gotta sure. go see. I gotta wait on Camille because she said she wanna go see Bob's Burgers movie. She said, nah, I fuck with Bob's Burgers. That's the only reason she wanna go. Oh, so it's Bob Burgers. I didn't know there was a movie coming out. Okay. I okay. Are y'all not real Bob Burgers fan? You the second person that said that new Bob Burgers. I mean, I'm not, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan like that for sure, for sure. But for I mean, sure. I know Bob's Burgers. But you seen, movie, right. you seen uh -huh. Tina and her, you seen that, that gift, Tina, though. Yeah, She's yeah, popping. Bro. Yeah, that was terrible. <laughs> hey, that's Tina, though, man. Yeah. Anyway, um, I was talking about money the other day, mm -hmm. and I don't know where the fuck this came from. But he was like, you know, oh, he was just listening to the pod, and you know, he was on the episode long, a long time ago. We were talking about uh, men getting the, the new BBLs for men, the height adjusters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I remember the height adjusters. <laughs> <laughs> um, this he nigga rides. was like, boy, it's guys out here getting jaws. Transplants like jaw lines for real, like real getting jaw. like a defined jaw. A real, yeah, that's the new thing these days. I'm not mad at any enhancements on guys, bro. Like, look, jaw line, <laughs> knees, ass, <laughs> goddamn. Do you play, boy? Hey, but why, why, why you hold on? Why, why, why you say men though? I'm just saying because like women do it too, and we cool with it. Men are cool nah, with women nah, doing it. Not nah, all men, most men are. Sure. There's a, a large percentage of men. They do not care. They will still do what they got to do if the opportunity presented itself. Period. That, that is very true. <laughs> Period, yo. That is very true. I ain't gonna lie. That might do like a whole different person. He look, he might look yeah. a little handsome. He, he does. Like he could play on a James Bond movie or something. Absolutely. 
Yeah. And like he got the beard game going. The beard, like the that beard, beard implant. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah definitely absolutely. got implant. That might have. No I've been hand. thinking about doing that. That right there for a minute, like the little beard implant thing. Cause like mine don't really connect real, for real, for real. So that's the reason I cut it off. Hey, bro, please. Would you? Would you? Would you hate on me for real? Would you hate on me? Nah, cause I listen. You wouldn't be the first person. You'd be the second person I know that got. Get the train. Only one person right now. Maybe one person. It might be more than that. somebody. Don't don't put him out there. I'm not. Oh no, I'm not. Yeah. Somebody telling me right now. Now nah, you know somebody else, and I'm like, I know two then. But yeah, I ain't clowning, man. I do. I, just, cause, I, I can. I can never get my like my. It started. No, like, but it I, was it, his her her. Oh, well, see, I ain't, I ain't got that problem. Yeah, yeah I know. But yeah. see, the, but beard, the beard. I would do I mean, that. Nah, I don't know. So what if you don't want it no more, bro? Just cut it off. It, what? But then you gonna have to get it put it back in. Listen, girls do the ass shot. Huh? I don't think they take their ass shots out when they say, huh? I don't Bruh, know. Bro, asses that. have been reducing by the minute. You ain't seen a certain people out. Like, I, I, I ain't gonna say no uh, name. Well, shit, I'm gonna say, bro, like, the fucking Kardashian. All, all oh, the asses don't put yeah, yeah. they, All the asses Bro, I'm, you see how green she is? Who, she talking about all that shit I was doing because Kanye influenced me. Yeah, that was green. That was so good. Honestly, honest, I'm not mad at it, though. Honestly, I feel like this like cool. Like, this kudos to Kanye, bro, because Kanye slick made you hot again, to be honest. This is my opinion. <laughs> Think about it. Right or wrong? No, nah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Right. But I'm just, I'm just trying to grab my head around. Just like throwing them out there like that, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. Media shit, though. Man, <laughs> but no, nah, yeah, absolutely. But that's the whole thing, man. Yeah, look, yes, so yes. I, guess I, will, I, I will install my beard, and I, when I don't want, I will take it away. <laughs> Winter time is going in. Summertime is coming off. Goddamn. And then you go get it, and you will go back and get it all redone. Absolutely. Like the next year. Well, no, nah, it just depends. Hopefully these got like some good gross shit, bro. People say all the time, man, sweet, bro, you need this oil. I use, I use it all, bro. I done use the oil, the bombs, the conditioner. Hey, I didn't did it before too. I did all that shit. Man, bro. for a good whole winter, I'm just like, man, I'm finna, I'm finna let this bitch come. It did, and, and and it didn't right big, there, big bro. Big peninsula right here. Bro. I'm trying to tell you, look like a pork chop, fool. Bro, straight up. I'm I look to like tell I was you. from the '70s. <laughs> I already know. <laughs> I look like I was from '70s. I already know, man. Hey, but I know y'all wondering, like, hey, what's that fresh ass shirt you got on, Darren? What's all these cans you got on this table? Well, these cans are something I'm finna tell you about. Now, this is this ad is for any and everybody, but especially for the people that dip tobacco or know somebody that dip tobacco. I done already got the DMs. And my husband, he he dipped two cans of Copenhagen a day. I wanna get him on this CBD. I say, look, don't you worry about this what you do. You use this code raw room, all caps, R A W R O O M, raw room. Let me tell you about this can of dips right here. Now it got the it's great. First of all, it tastes good, great tasting. It's uh it's an alternative to your tobacco use and all the tobacco needs. It's, it's clean. It's in pouches as well, and it's all natural, all flavorful, no nicotine, none of that shit. Come in five different flavors. You see them flavors over there, sweet? What this is? I think that's a when, you mint. Let's see. That's mint. We got the tangy citrus flavor. We got the fresh wintergreen. Tropical mango. Tropical mango. We got the Time American the spice. And I done had the American spice. That It ain't like old spice. It's more like a slick cinnamon, but it's not cinnamony. You know what I'm saying? But the tangy citrus, bussin'. Uh, the wintergreen, bussin'. That's my flavor go-to's right there. But other than that, it's crafted and manufactured in Hobo County. Now, if you're in California... You can get them other three letters put together. But you got to be out there in California. Or you just got to be, you know, know somebody know somebody. But, gay, okay, listen, guys. It's, it's, a, it's a hassle to, to deal with regular tobacco. It's a hassle. It's, it's bad for you. You got shit all in your mouth, in your teeth. Have y'all ever seen Coach Vrabel's mouth? <laughs> he needs to get some of these. <laughs> all right? He, okay? Look, you ain't got to worry about spitting. You know, it's, no, it's hassle-free on the spit, okay? Listen, I'm telling y'all. Y'all use the cold raw room. You go in there. I think that $9 can turned into a $5 can. I think that five-pack turned into like a 50-pack to whatever the fuck it was, 30 some dollars. And boom, you got you right. Or I could just do a giveaway one real time to see who's going to really use that code. They can think, you know, instead of getting one, you got one can, now I just send you five more. You just won. We'll see. We'll get there when we get there. We'll see how these codes do. Because also, as much as we say we do good, y'all going to do good. Trust me. They paying, too. We run these numbers up. They paying. Don't tell nobody. But they paying. And it's going to come back to all y'all. Trust me. Y'all know I like to get some shit away around here. 
But that's my Canada band. Use the word call it raw room. And you can get your, what it is, 20% off? Man, I remember I said it on the first day, 15%. But you know what? We called them folks and we was like, hey, can you raise that shit up to 20%, bro? They was like, you know what? No problem. So that's all we fuck with them. Shout out to Canada, man. They show plenty of love. All right, bro. You know me. I'm always on YouTube going through it, looking at wild shit. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm on Vice. <clears throat> Saw a, a, um, I forgot the, the the title was something like police uses kids to sell drugs or some shit like that. Okay. So I'm like, what the fuck? Undercover know. cop tricks autistic student in the same Boom! And I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, I go watch this junk. Mm-hmm. Jesse Snodgrass, uh, a young, like a junior. No, he was a senior in high school, had autism. Uh, I mean, everybody at the school knew it. They had a couple kids at the school that had autism. And this is in California, by the way, Southern California, might not have had you. Mm-hmm. Uh, long story short, Jesse was at school trying to make friends, but he didn't have many friends. This one kid, Billy, I guess his name was, he pretended that was his name, uh, actually it was the police it was officer. Dan. 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 Okay. He was fuck. the uh, undercover cop. Yeah. Yeah. Like on some uh on some twenty one jump okay, yes. twenty one jump shoes yes. type shit. Okay. Came on the campus on the, at the school, asking people around by drugs. Now, now this ain't the only kids he asking, you know. He asking all other kids too. And they mm-hmm. were like, they all all you know how the kid, you know, that's the goddamn police, but the way yeah. they did. Exactly. He, like, bro. He, yeah, he was on yeah. some shit like that. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. they wasn't really set, like they were all like skeptical to sell him, you know, saying the weed, but mm-hmm. ended up young Jesse right here, I wanna say he sold him a point six. Mm. In Cali. In California. Mm. A point six. Mm. Got him locked up. Damn. Got him arrested. That's crazy. Then, wait, while they in there, you just kind of missed it at the beginning of this. When he was in the interrogation room and the police asked him, hey, did you sell so and so? He was like, no, nah, I ain't, ain't done. Nah, no. No, no, no. Man, you should have saw, bruh. Just, you just tell. Like, you really couldn't see his face because kind of butt fuzzy right here. Yeah. <clears throat> the Dan, his supposed to be his friend. Mm hmm. Walked in full police uniform. Damn. And he had no representation, I'm sure, sure, right? No, look, it's right there. Look, okay. Here go Dan. Mm. And Dan just standing there, ain't saying he and he even looked at Dan like, come on, bro. And mm. then that man had no friends, bro. Mm. So he was, that's why his mama was like crying about. She was like, he was finally thought he made a friend. Damn. And but just using the point six. So I don't even know how to even. That's me. I mean, just like the whole plot, a plot of like try to get somebody. It ain't even. That ain't even. That ain't the end of it. Oh, it's not. We're not done. Come to find out. Okay. These Continue. great police officers of Southern California. Mm. Now they arrested probably like twenty some, thirty some kids. Call it a drug ring throughout three schools. Doing twelve the of them autistic. Nine, nine or twelve kids end, end up being autistic that they locked up. Doing, doing like the same thing, like having. Them up. Like one kid, they said the most. And niggas, how did how did the cops? I mean, how did the school even approve that first? But I'm trying to think of how how does it even possible? Like, yeah, hey, listen, we about to be undercover. We we about to act like students and walk around. Yeah, because because they told I think they they said it was a drug ring. So if you tell a principal that I think it's a drug, and your police officer asks, it's a drug ring going around from this school, this school, this school. We are gonna post somebody else so we can stop this shit. Come on, if you're a principal you, and you hear, oh, all you got to do is tell it. It's a drug. He don't know if it is or not. First of all, I think the largest amount of drugs they sold him was like one kid sold him like two pills. Or, that's it. Mm-hmm. Nobody else wouldn't sell. Like, they weren't pushing weight out there. Right. It wasn't no drug ring. Wasn't nobody out here it was pulling up and new whips. getting shit from they parents. Yeah, parents yeah, some shit, yeah. Dra- trash weed, too, probably. Right, right. So it wasn't like... They out here moving big bells. Bro. Are they are they currently locked up? These this kids? was this was a while ago. Okay, so this is a minute ago. Yeah, this was a little minute ago, but it's just the fact that that, that it just happened. Like that's all crazy to me. It's crazy. That, it's, it's wild. But like I said, didn't let the like, kids back in school. Bring, couldn't graduate. Bringing back like even I know it was like a joke at first, but like even like that whole thing, like the whole Twenty One Jump Street like thing, is like weird. I didn't even know that was a real thing. I, like, that's what I'm saying. I, like, there's no way, like, a, a, a 
I don't know. I, and I, well, obviously, there is a way because they they did it. Hold but just on. having like a kid, I mean, having a grown man pose as a high school kid. In Tennessee last year, a 23 year old police woman emerged from 10 months undercover credit her mom's job as acting coach as key to her performance as a drug seeking student, which was convincing enough to have 44 people arrested. Other operations go even further mm. to establish veracity. <clears throat> like they get young, area, young, young cops. Nature. Like, uh, <sighs> like people like this just graduated the academy. They young. Shaving their face and whatever. Yeah. That's, just That's crazy. still nasty, though. They get big bonuses for landing these busts and shit, which wow. is, like, fucked up because, like, now they're, obviously, they're targeting special needs kids. Like, it's like nasty. this kid, Jesse, like, he had the cognitive ability of an 11-year-old at 17. Come on, bro. Come on. Yeah, that's gross. Man. That's gross. I mean, I, look, it, I'm, and I hate to say it, it's like, well, am I really surprised that things that the the um, certain police departments do oh, well, just nah, to get a well, man? Kind of. Because, like, <clears throat> I know somebody in this department got a child that's autistic. True. Somebody got it. And so if you hear that's going on, I'm sure you're not You think that, that is nasty. Yeah, you're right. You Absolutely. 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 100%. Somebody, somebody, like, yo. Yeah. Like, somebody should have been in, like, the meeting in the morning like, come on now. Like, come on. Come on now, It's chief. just like the same people that think this, <laughs> to want to put all the slave movies on during Juneteenth on them. Like why every yeah. why every Black History Month got to be all the slave movies and all yeah. these slave movies we like always TNG. getting our ass whooped. Yeah, facts. We ain't never winning for real. What Django was the only one. I didn't say that before. Yep. I'm trying to think. But yeah, that's about it. All right. If everything's been a struggle, everything's been a struggle. Yeah. Why we can't put it on Martin all day? I would love Martin all day. A whole fucking day. <laughs> Family Matters. Keenan and oh. Kale. You know that's back on Netflix. Uh, uh Raising the Sun. <laughs> Raising the Sun was good. Which one are you talking about? The one Sydney Portier or yes, P. Come Diddy? Come on. Sydney Portier. It was straight, It was straight, but I, come on. <laughs> I, I had it. I remember because I was in that play when I was young. So I was, For real? Hell yeah, yeah. and I watched the Sydney Portier joint. Hell yeah. Which, which character were you? Oh, shit, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Fourth grade, fifth grade. Oh, stop, bro. Mm -hmm. I done mm -hmm. learned something about my friend, but I didn't yeah. know that you was uh, Nigga, I just remembered it. It just came back in my mind. When I said Raising the Sun, I was like, oh, yeah, I was in that play. <laughs> I remember. Oh, snap. That's what's up, Dale, bro. do you remember? <laughs> some, I really I mean, I sound like she here. Dale, you remember that We shit? need to find, we need to research. Hey. Somebody recorded that Hell, joint. Yeah, Somebody that did. Fine, because I remember when Diddy came out with his. We, me and my mama watched that joint, though. Like, yeah. I, was, I was like, nah, I, I still like the old one. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, that one, that one's a classic. Yeah. Right? yeah. The one City Port is classic. Hell, yeah. Mm. Raisins. Can you see me acting? No, that's what I'm saying. Oh, that fucked up, bro. <laughs> no. That fucked up, bro. Absolutely not. <laughs> what? Come on. Not Nick. raising the sun. Nick, you can't see me being a serious actor. You can't see me being a serious actor. <laughs> if I can't Yo, you, bro. No. <laughs> <laughs> bro. I was trying to gotta... be serious. I was trying to say, you can't see me being a serious actor. It might like say it depends. Though. There's a PC answer, bro. Basically, what he's saying is no. No, I mean, that's I, what he's saying. But I just got here, so I don't want to fuck with you. <laughs> <laughs> I just got here. This is my first day of the job. You know what I'm saying? I really try to mess up my credibility by saying, hell no. <laughs> oh, hey, shit. Get him man a couple of months, bro. He going to get to He going to get to me? Tell hell me yeah. Somebody anyway, got to tell me nah, that, that's, 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 uh, that's definitely jacked up, bro. I def definitely don't appreciate that at all. Moving on. You said uh, it was on my Vice, bad. though? Yeah, it's on Vice. Yeah. I seen it on YouTube, though, but yeah, it's on yeah. Vice. The Vice be having that, all that weird... Hey, this is... A good, hey, okay, so... Go ahead. Hey, if you want the air conditioner to be set to a lower temperature, mm -hmm. would you describe it as turning it up or turning it down? Mm, I'm trying to think what, what do we used to say in my house. Um, yeah, we say up, which is crazy. Like, we say, hey, turn the air up. No, so... <sighs> Because I like, see, I understand we, why you would say everything is up. It's like turn the air up or turn the heat up. Everything is up. The air means cold. Yeah, because heat you, mean heat. But what if you saying turn the air down? Then you saying turn it. it you know, make make, make it, it warm. hotter. Make it warm. That's what we say. It's weird. That's I tricky. think that's tricky. I think I have to like I have Tell to like in be comments. in, in like the, the moment. I gotta be like there, like while we're having. I gotta be just doing it. But it's, exactly. I think it just don't. We don't think about it. We don't think about it. But whoever, turn the air down. Whoever saying it, though, they turn the air down. Whoever says it, but in the moment, you know what they mean, though. Is the thing. Yeah, you all know what they you mean. Are, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can say turn it up, turn it down. You know what they you mean. You know what they mean. You know what they mean. It don't matter like what it is, which is weird. Which is which is like facts. That's some tricky shit. It is. Some it chicken is. motherfucking shit right there. Damn. Well, 
the people are split on it according to this thing. 50, yeah, 50, 50, 50, 50, bro. 50, 50. R. Kelly got 30 years. Was it worth it? Yes. 30 years, because the 30 years, you tried to trick us, motherfucker. Yeah, heck, I don't think he tried to trick okay, us. Okay, well, he didn't try to trick anything. <laughs> I don't think he tried to either. Hey, well, our older generation, this nigga put out videos. Y'all was at the barbershop watching it. Y'all was at the car wash watching it. Oh, no. Y'all was at the gym watching it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. She circulated pretty quick. Pretty fast. Street. She was going viral before viral. It, yeah. That's true. It, it went viral. I'm talking about folks talking about they were watching that joint in the studio. A lot what? of folk, a lot of people though that said that they saw at least like that was, that was our age. Niggas didn't really see that shit. <laughs> but our age, yeah, no, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said. Older, generation. but like, but but like, I just remember like my brother. Up, like I, I, I remember. Like, oh yeah, but I saw the tape. No, you did not. Well, yeah, I remember. <laughs> we in fifth grade, bro. Exactly. Why are you lying? Exactly. Bro? But everybody was hated though. And well, I, you like, never oh, know, yeah. bro. Might have been people around the corner. People like, around the corner and watching that jump. Yeah. But yeah, I, I'm glad he got all 30. I wish also that his manager would be locked up with him. Everybody. Uh, the parents. The whole rink. Yep. Um, yeah, I think they also should not share a piece. He should go and get his own 30, but... Everybody deserves something. Everybody deserves a couple of something, a little something. I don't know, because, you know, children, hey, can't be playing with kids, man. Mm-mm. Not you know. even as an adult. I mean, as a parent or somebody that's supposed to be just their guardian. Just anybody, bro. I mean, it just goes back to the, even like the last conversation. Just taking advantage of someone that is, um, you know, like, cannot necessarily make cognizant decisions for themselves. You should not take advantage of those type of people. Yes. So that that that's that special needs. That's children. That's yes. whoever. Like yes. someone that can't even understand your language. Even like yes. if, if if like you know somebody just came over here from a whole other country, they can't understand you. Like right. just taking advantage of anyone that isn't able to take care yeah. of themselves. That might be my, my <laughs> that might be my number one uh, thing I'm afraid of when I go to Medellin. Oh, uh, somebody take advantage of you. But not, yeah, not like you know what I'm saying, but by, by just yes. knowing oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. Come this way, come this way. Me, like, no, it's cool, cool. Come this yeah, way. Yeah, I'm gonna be like, my hell no, nah, bro. I'm from Memphis, fool. Hell no, nah. what? No, sir. Like I, I had pictured it. I already had pictured. I was like, man, I'm gonna, no, I'm going. I got my. I told you, got my app. Yeah, no, yeah I'm gonna yeah. hit him with the. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even tell y'all right now. No disrespect to none of my Spanish people out there. I'm still studying, but I'm gonna ask for some, the ATV tour. Nah, this nigga try to finesse me, bro. Yeah, yeah. I might not come back. I'm about to fight him. You gonna have to, bro. They gonna lock me up. <gasps> oh, please, bro. you you wanna go to the club? Hell no. <laughs> you man, go hell to no. I ain't never been over there, bro. bro but I can, shit, you I can know. Movies. Look, like we just said, we ain't never been to none of the other <laughs> Germany. Ru- nah, I ain't never been out there. You baby. know not to. Uh-uh, I wouldn't want to go to jail in uh, Colombia. Yeah, no nah. sir. Nah, 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 no, nah. That's, that's your day. I didn't seen uh, locked up. Uh, Netflix had a little, used to have like a locked up show. Yeah, yeah, going like abroad, like going and going around different places, showing these different places. Where My baby, look, boy, Mm-mm. nah, I'm straight. Mm-mm. No sir. <laughs> I mean, I'm straight out of jail anytime, but just period. But in a different country, I think. Hold on, is this real, bro? There's a time I give him for ten bands, get off a plane, bro. Get off a plane? Yes. I don't understand the logic of that. For Delta side, I mean, obviously as a person, you'd be like, hell yeah. But on Delta side, what sense would that make? When you already struggling in business right now, yes, y'all are struggling because y'all ain't got no pilot, so y'all losing money. And now you saying you're going to give $10,000 away so people can get off and you're going to get some other people. Hmm? I would literally, if it, I'm, like I haven't read this article, but if it was me, I'd just be, just be booking flights just to get the money. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, they if, the if, say if you had Apple Pay, you even had the money right now. That, hold on, who ten to ten bands through Apple Pay? Yeah, I don't think this is real. I'm sorry, I'm not. Hold on, where go another? One? Uh, I don't think this is this is a credible source. <laughs> uh, they like, initially offered know. five thousand to passion before bumping the figure to seven, and then eventually uh-huh. ten when volunteers failed to materialize. Who the fuck ain't on there talking about they won't take a five? Right, what? Cut it out. Shit. Unless it, was a, 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 unless it was an airplane full of I one knew. percenters. Unless it was an airplane full of one percenters. Man, what? That's I, the I, only I, way. In the head. And, like, they not hopping on Delta. <laughs> Matter of fact, you right. <laughs> so it's probably the, the front row, yeah. the first six, seven, nine seats. Shit. The first 12. Me. We'll this say the first me. 12. That's first row. That's them the one percenters. Them folks is damn ready to tell me three. I can find me a flight back for eight. 
<laughs> still straight. Hey, hey, hey. Bro, these for a while. Yo, that's wild because they start these like vouchers at like 500 bucks or something like that, right? Pause. So it's like you just said something. So vouchers, that's the difference. Is it five thousand in voucher like flight money mm-hmm. or is it cash? Cause that makes a difference right there. Mm-hmm. I probably like yeah, that may make a difference. Now it's still though ten thousand dollars worth of flights. You uh, ain't going. You ain't going that many goddamn places in that round. You can use that for a long time. You can, you can you can use it for a minute. You can still use it for a minute. But I do see some hesitancy if you don't travel that much. You be like, what well, snap? I like I, I literally even, this is like my, first, my first flight time. in yeah, like yeah, three yeah, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This story, particular story, was it was ten racks in cash. Okay, see, Jeez. yeah. Who the hold on? Yeah, huh? hold on. Now I got another question. <laughs> Why y'all flying around with ten bands? At least ten bands on you. Ain't that a, you can't get through the airport with no money like that? No, you can't. Uh uh-uh. uh Yeah, you can't really travel with domestically. I think you can, right? No. What is that lip? Nigga, I, 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 I ain't brought I money am, from like, the strip club on the on the plane. And like they they nigga stopped me and looked that shit up. You'd be like, how, how much is in there? Yes. I was like, brother, do you smell the strippers on this house? <laughs> These is all one, my boy. It ain't no more than about 700. You let them up and say what a dollar, man. What trip? What is like bro? the the max that you can like travel with? So there is actually no limit for domestic flights, yeah, but internationally, 10, 10 bands is the limit for international. Bro, yeah, that's what I'm you saying. You're telling like, me. Domestically, like you can fly with whatever. If, if you walk. That's what I thought. Young Dolphin told us. He ain't got stopped in the airport having too many Benjis on him. I mean, I mean, he had been walking through with a suitcase. I understand that, bro, but it's just maybe it was for the rap, bro. We don't. Hey, listen, <laughs> I'm gonna believe good. whatever Dolph say, goddamn it. It sound good. Long live Dolph, man. Hey, I'm believing. Absolutely, I believe him. Absolutely, it was in his raps, but I'm not the fed. So listen, man. What? Don't say that, bro. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. It's in the rap. Don't say it. Well, this hey. is a credible source according to yeah, the raw right. room. <laughs> 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 you don't want them problems, bro. We're gonna Damn, be down. Nah. We're gonna be on Atlanta. The first thing you smoke in Atlanta as a as a uh, as a uh, as a witness. Ha- I have us on the FBI most wanted list. Uh, uh, I want that. Hey, would you? All. all right, well, would you want to take some medicine that they developed to keep you alive for two hundred years? No, me either. Mm-mm. I ain't trying to live that long. I, I just came from a funeral, nigga. bro. Um, over over this weekend and um. Uh, it, it was a beautiful funeral, but like uh, it, it was, you know, someone that was, you know, like late nineties. Like my grandma was like one hundred and seven, and like mm-hmm. uh, I just feel like at a certain point, people be said like my grandmother passed in during in in twenty twenty, and she was like ready to go. Like she like like told yeah. me, yeah, without telling me, like slept every day. Like hey, I'm just waiting like for my eyes to close and I just not wake up. So two hundred years. <laughs> Real talk. No, like, bro, like people, nigga, people, I was just, people when, feel that we, way. Last week, when we just heard him, I said, I want to go see my grandma. Yeah. That's her vibe. That's what, and she, Is she you. cool with that? She's like, hey, yeah, I don't know what I want to do. So 200 years? This plan is too fucked up. But, uh, this is my question, though. Is it is it 200, like, you going to be 198 and you feel like you're 98? I mean, but still, though. What's the difference, though? If some 98 year olds old get down, they getting around. That's true. That's true. You, I mean, you, I'm not trying to be, 198. I'm not. Nah, I ain't trying to get around. That'd be nice if I could get around. I ain't around, like, lie. I'm, I'm just, right now. especially, you know, playing football. I'm, nigga, at 80, I'm gonna be hurt. Yeah, you're gonna start feeling some shit. I'm borrowing. I hope. felt some shit. By yeah, then, the, the deformities would have been always set in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nigga, I'll be walking around. Hopefully not, like bro. This, Hopefully nigga. not. I mean, like, they got these plastic surgeons now. They can, they can fix some shit. Real, <laughs> we just got done talking about it. Like, they can, they can make some stuff. Everybody work. want me to get the extendos, bro. Bro, you get, why not? I would. I know you would. <laughs> if you 80 something. Like, if I'm 80, if I still right right here, I'm, I'm still, getting all my shit. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I'll just go on. And by that time, Amazon, we'll be able to go on Amazon to yes, buy bro. that shit. Well, I'm 98 years. Forget Ain't 98, that bitch should come with a doctor. When I'm 70 years. Forget 70. When I'm 50, well, 55 probably still look good. But 70 ish? 70 oh, for yes. sure. I'm getting a body job. <laughs> Everything's getting fixed. <laughs> 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 you laughing. Everything is getting fixed. Hey, I'm so getting I'm, abs, I'm, chest, bro, hair. <laughs> Give me the kick, goddamn. <laughs> and like, but like, my hair is going to be like the little, you know what I'm saying, hey, salt, salt you, and pepper, right, you know what I'm you, saying? Would Green you pepper. get a new dick? Mm, probably. I mean, like, the, whatever pill they got. Like, I'm my, sorry, saying that, but, but whatever, if they had a pill or they had a surgery, nah, nah, they like, bring you back like, to life. 
be I don't need a new one though. Like mine is gonna be straight. I'm just okay. But well, I would I'm, take whatever they got. To bring you back to life. Absolutely. Yeah. You wouldn't? Sh- Hell yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm out here stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> What? I'm poking shit. You hear me? What, bro? I would be in the club as soon as. Honestly, <laughs> uh, I had I had a I had a, uh, a old coworker of mine. Like he was like 45 or whatever, and um, he started taking uh, like he like weekly. He'll go take a um, what's it called the uh, testosterone boosters or whatever. I said shit, but listen, heard, if, yeah. if it get a point to where I need that, I heard they said in for 40 is about about around 40. Around 40? Around you start just going start getting that shot. Absolutely. I need a little <laughs> extra energy. Yes, sir. Why not? I, I'm going to go to the what, gym. All you can do is go 30 and say, just eat McDonald's. Just want? Nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that you at can't all. can't just eat the McDonald's? No, sir. Not at 40. 40, I'm 40. definitely watching what I eat. Oh, man. So. Hold on. Who the fuck put this on my Mickey Mouse about the end of free agency? 95-year copyright expired in 2024. That's why Some Disney though. characters may also lose exclusivity. Damn, that's big. That's hey, still that's wild, bro. So check this out. That's major. Check this out. I can No, nah, they can't let this Mickey Mouse go. Ain't no way. They not, bro. They gonna pay him. Yeah, they gonna, they gonna, <laughs> they gonna, oh, yeah. They gonna pay him. After, <laughs> hey, after Mickey didn't see what Ja and all these niggas get. Yeah, 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 bro. Oh, man. You, that nigga, wait, you gotta give me 350 M's. <laughs> you, bro, I've been around here 90-some years, bro. Y'all been Put on the me. numbers. Put yeah, me. <laughs> year after year. At, bro, I go 364 days a week, 365. They gonna pay him. They gonna pay him. Yeah, gotta pay me, But check this out, though. That, so when I saw that, um, I was watching uh, Jungle Book with my little girl. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I think Jungle Book, I thought that was like a Disney exclusive, right? I don't think it is. No, because everybody doing it. Everybody is doing it. But it's, but, I feel like but, it's been that way, though. I know. Well, so I, I ain't really pay attention to it, but I think like Disney owns the Jungle Book name. So, because like Netflix has one, it's a Jungle Book. It's a but, different, but yeah. But it's called Mowgli. Yeah, they, it was called yeah Mowgli. my kids don't like that one. I, it was straight. It was all right, but but they, like all the songs and shit, they couldn't use none of that. None of, yeah, yeah, yeah. They couldn't yeah, use none yeah. of the songs. So like, I can see like folks start losing some of their rights and stuff. But like, all right, what's like Cinderella, bro? Damn, they're gonna be like a a, a Pixar but, film. But next. Who they gonna cut? They gotta cut somebody. They said a couple. Hold on, click on the link, Faker. Oh, for those. <laughs> they said on my phone. a couple. <laughs> they gonna cut a couple, bro. It's a roster moves they making out here, baby. This is twenty twenty two. Shit is different, bro. They gonna keep the starting file like Goofy, Donald Duck. Lenny, like the whole Star Five, they 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 keep it them. Oh, but like that a few of the princesses may go though, fact because they got so many and they the got some new up go. and coming princesses. I'm saying like they, they got a lot of folks don't even really the world. A lot of folks don't even fuck with Snow White no more. And oh, she was dude. like the OG. She you know the OG. She the OG. They gonna get cut. She gonna she, she, she gonna you dies has some for a long time. Yeah, she just been around here and ain't making no movies. She slick. ain't been on the court. I want to say they already slick. Cut she, Snow White because like they got different like the the she, uh, the uh, Huntsman that's not a Disney movie remember that with um uh, uh-uh. what's the cat's name bro the Witcher bro he 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 was the Witcher he was the Witcher remember the show the Witcher on Netflix oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah 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 so they got a show it's a movie called like uh the Huntsman but it's about Snow White oh, it's dope oh, it's it's fire so they, so they not making them about Snow White but they but it's keeping the they keeping, keeping her the name thing. alive yeah they keeping her name alive who else gonna get cut yo for example like. Uh, Winnie the Pooh actually, uh, Disney lost the exclusive yeah, rights yeah, to yeah, him earlier in the year. Damn, yeah, so real, they're man. they're coming out with a horror movie. Yeah, remember when they, came out, they the are shit. coming out with the Winnie Pooh horror movie. I heard mm-hmm. on the pod. Damn. So this hey, these rights like, are like the so exclusive rights. This old ho- the okay. old Winnie the Pooh. That's when he was playing the NFL. This Winnie the Pooh pay for the USFL. <laughs> This man here crazy. You heard this man right say <laughs> He took a step down, boy. That man ugly as hell. Oh, when the pool used to be cute, man, what? chubbing, eating honey and shit. So, so is it Winnie the <laughs> Pooh exclusively or like the whole like Winnie the Pooh cast, like Tigger and all them too? Oh, if they got these folks in here on the team killing spree, it is up. I'm That's with that. Crazy. Now, I'll, I'll be with that. I'll watch they, that. Whoever I'll made watch. this got to redo his fit though. They probably are. Okay, they they look horrible. No, nah, yeah, that's that's like something from the 50s. Yeah, that's horrible. Something from the 50s. That's messed up, though, that they, they doing it to win the pool, though. I really don't like that. Now, nah, think about it. I don't like that. I don't like how they did it. So, when the pool's like the, really like the, the first major free agent that left then, because he was huge. Yeah, he was the pool school, kept the lights on for a little nah, bit, but then. Yeah, he'll go. Dang, that's crazy. Shit, they ain't like, who else? Man, I don't know, but. Yeah, man. But I like I said, like the the original roster gonna definitely stay a little like that would it seem like. That's interesting though. 
Great topic. Uh, whoever put that in there. That was, that oh, was, that was good. That was good. One. That was good. One. <laughs> that I, I ain't know it was gonna take us to a whole franchise mode, but <laughs> that hey, we was got good shit right there. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Buck Rogers, Tarzan. <laughs> oh, Tarzan been sold then. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tarzan been Buzz Bunny on his way out too. Nah, he ain't. He, he ain't never been with Disney. He's nah, with, I mean, uh, with, with, nah, he ain't finna hit. Nah, he would, uh, nah, they ain't let him go. That's like, like top dollar. He actually sold, uh, signed like a different contract as soon as uh, yeah, yeah. Bron hopped on the Hop, stage. Yeah. It was a rap after that. He said, shit, I gonna pay Bro, Bug. Who, how would, what, these fictional ass characters got real careers. But yeah, I, I, that makes sense though. Everything has a price though. Everything has a price. But like, yeah, Bugs, is, Bugs and Mickey, that, those are not going nowhere for sure. Because like, I feel like if Disney did lose, lose the rights to Mickey, that'll change everything for like Disney World. I'm talking about like, you gotta think about like, like merchandise and all of that. Like, are we going to see Winnie Pooh merch at at um, Disney World now? Probably not. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah, but they got so many other new characters. That's, that's what I'm here. saying. Like, I, I like all these yeah, new characters. Yeah, my kids there right now. Were at Disney. Mm-hmm. They went out in, 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 in Cali. In Cali. Yeah. But I, I, like I mean, that one better than uh, but honestly, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Like, like, so like all like the 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 event princesses or whatever. They because I mean, they got all the new ones. You got uh, what's the lady from freaking Frozen? Elsa. Oh, we she, love Elsa. Yeah, she ain't got no spin. What do you think they would make up? They would. They gonna make them out for have a spin off. Yeah, they already got a like. I think they um, now they got like Frozen little mini a, shows. That's they what I'm saying. Make, well, yeah, like yeah, yeah. they they spinning it off. They they're like Elsa's getting the bag. Yeah. Freaking uh, what's the other joint? Um, there's another one of princesses that's getting the bag. Um, one of them new ones, Mona, the uh, the the Hawaiian joint. I think she Hawaiian or Filipino. Is Hawaiian? I don't know. You know, I That's got kids now, things. bro. So now I'm, I know what I'm saying. Moana, Moana, Mona. yeah, Moana, Moana, yeah, yeah, Moana. Yeah. She been banging. She been since Camille was a little. That's what I'm saying yeah, though, but like her whole gen- that's what I'm saying. Like that, that whole oh, generation, generation growing up now, and they, they got, yeah, messing yeah, yeah, with yeah. her. They're not messing with Rapunzel. They messing with Mona. Oh yeah, Rapunzel's trying to she even get snipped too. I think she probably been gone. Nah, I don't know. I ain't seen a Rapunzel movie ever. She it. Nah, she they just had a movie 2016, 2017. Was it called Rapunzel? Yeah. I think Tangled. It was called Tangled. I think Rapunzel, that Snow White, and Cinderella are all public domain. Ooh. Wow. So they been they like me. Free agents. Them here, free baby. agents, bro. We've got the bag. We can make a movie, baby. You hear me? <laughs> we up to make a movie. Hey, what? Oh man, they they could do something with that. Well, it's like I said, they already did it with uh, Snow White, like I said. I, I oh, knew yeah, that. Oh, yeah, with the Huntsman shit, yeah. I knew that. And, like, Cinderella slick been up for a minute. I mean, because, like, Cinderella got movies with Fox, with Brandy. Century. Like, Brandy, Brandy did one. Brandy. Like, yeah, they did one for a little minute. And then, obviously. Ooh, hey. What's up? Oh, my bad. Yo, Superman, Batman, those rights are also going to be expiring in the next, like, five, they gonna ten stay. years. They going to stay. Well, Superman, I don't I know. Because ain't, ain't Superman supposed to be dead. I would love to see uh, Marvel try a... Uh, Batman? Yes. Me too. I would love to see it. But they can't, bro, they ain't gonna give up Batman. They can't. They can't. They can't, bro. If DC, DC give up Batman, yeah, they're they done. Can. They are. They're, they're fucking right. done. You're right. Uh, uh, what's they call the, the I would love to see Marvel do it, though. I would love to do it. I would love Maybe to see them do it. Maybe they go partnership or something. I would love to see it. Because Marvel hasn't really missed when it comes to superhero joints. And, like, there's not too many Batmans that have, like, Batman has been keeping the lights on DC for a long time. Oh, years. By himself. Years. LeBron, goddamn. Years. MJ. He, like, he, 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 want the, he want the 300 mil. He do. He, he want the 250 mil. Y'all, y'all got to give me the bag to stay. <laughs> or I'm going over the other side. Of course. Fucking and world. if he do that, hey, it's up yeah. and it's stuck. It's boy. a wrap. Batman going to be the, because they, they ain't got uh, Iron Man no more. I'm saying right now, if Batman go over there to Marvel, he going to sh- shut it down. Say that now. Facts. I don't. I don't watch any Marvel joints. Me personally, I've seen like a couple of them, but kill all that noise of Batman coming over. There. I don't care about nobody over there. Iron Man, Hulk, Thor, Iron, oh, Iron Man gone. Folk. Iron Man gone. Thor. Uh, Captain America, he gone. I don't care who for yeah, listening to me. Captain America gone. He breaking box office records that ain't gonna never get broke again if Batman go to Marvel. Period. Thor can't. I mean, yeah, Thor can't touch him. Thor can't touch him. Can't none of the folk touch that man, bro. With Thanos. numbers. Thanos. I'm talking about numbers. Ooh, what if Thanos came back and he was on against Batman? <gasps> yeah, yeah. That'll be two of the dialogue in there. It'd be It'd a lot be of dialogue. amazing. It'd be a lot of dialogue. Yes. I mean, technically and, speaking, just off of like just brute strength, I think Thanos would get Batman the fuck up out of here. But yeah, as far as just like said, box like, office like, numbers, like, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but I'm talking about just like as far as box office numbers, all them Marvel numbers that we saw for Endgame and all that shit, make a Batman Marvel movie. It's a wrap, yo. It's yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I it's, agree with you. It's a wrap. I agree with you. Did you see the last Batman? 
Nah, I haven't. I heard that bitch was 17 hours long, so I was... It was good. I, I've seen like but three times. But when Duval talking about, bro, break it up, like, and you watch this part up to here, then you... I'm like, oh, hell it, no. At first, it wasn't that long, I don't think. How long ago was it, Faye? Three hours and 15 minutes? About like 250. Or 250. About like 250. That was... The, see, I nah, would nah. check. It's on HBO, bro. Watch it tonight. You, know, you, I, you I, ain't I, doing that. I know. It's, yeah, I'm going to be up to 12, I see. <laughs> you gonna be up to twelve o'clock watching two fifty five? Yeah, I called it. Two fifty five. That's longer than I be. I like it though. Like I've I watched like a couple of times already. Now, it's, oh, it's you watched it a couple of times. I watched it a couple of times. I mess with it. Oh, so that's what you be doing? You don't text back in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas over here setting meeting times and then not showing up to the meets. The fuck kind of shit is that, Faye? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. But hey, what's going on in the college landscape of football? You know, I don't pay attention to all the shit that's going on in the West Coast because, you know, I'm an SEC type of guy. Mm -hmm. UCLA, USC to the Big Ten. Mm -hmm. Two super conferences. Mm -hmm. Who is the super conference? The Big Ten? And the SEC. I mean, I know the SEC. Oh, well, yeah, I guess the Big the Big Ten, right? <laughs> no, what, what? How? Oh, so no, so I mean, but like here, uh, currently the two. I mean, like so you got what you got the uh, the Apollo Five was an ACC, SEC, Big Twelve, Big Ten, Big Ten, and Pac Twelve, yeah. correct? Yeah. So if USC in um USC uh UCLA, blah, 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 blah. USC if, in the USC, if if they uh, leave uh, the um Pac the uh, Pac, then obviously they're not a power conference anymore. If they just made the Big Ten bigger, but I guess. To be a power but, conference, a lot of your teams got to be good. What you mean? Like sports UCLA wise? and USC ain't good. They just named. They got the name of history. They got clown and money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. But that I makes you want... a power five school. And yeah, no, it makes you a power five school. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about that being a super conference. Like the SEC getting tennis, I mean, Texas and. They didn't make them. Who's currently in the Big Ten? And if you add them, I'm Stanford. pretty sure that makes them. You see it. No, Stanford still. See, no, Stanford's still in the Pac-10. That's what I'm Stanford saying. Stanford just run through the whole Pac-10 every single year. <laughs> they Literally just run. run through that shit. Currently, who who is who's on the Big Ten? What? Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Maryland, Michigan, Michigan State, Minnesota, Nebraska, mm -hmm. Northwestern, Ohio State, Penn State, Purdue, Rutgers, and Wisconsin. Rutgers, that's weird to have Rutgers. You add you add UCLA, you you USC, USC to that. That's I guess. I shit, mean, that's no. still up. Okay, look. I go feel through. like that's a basketball be good? conference. Who's the best? Mi yeah. I think yeah. I think that's gonna be a basketball conference. Mi Michigan, Michigan State, they good for Ohio Minnesota State. good. Ohio State. Ohio State, Penn State, Penn straight. And per uh, nah, that's nah. basketball school. Yeah. This is gonna that's be a basketball it. conference. And then you see USC and UCLA ain't good. It's and gonna football. be a basketball conference. It's gotta be. <clears throat> well, let's just go like to the to me, like the uh, ACC. I think ACC is a basketball conference. Yeah, yeah, facts. It's always been that way. Yeah, it has. It has been. It has been. They had a few years of, you know what I'm saying, some good football, some good football players. But. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, who's who's really been good at, uh, besides the U and Florida State out of ACC, as far as football goes? Well, the U you know wasn't saying? even an ACC school, and they were good. Really? They was a Big East, wasn't it? Yeah. They were? Yeah. Wait a minute. Like, they when, like, uh, when no, they, but they did go to the ACC. There? They did go to the ACC, though. Hmm? When like A and Reed out over there, they was up. Uh, oh, well, I don't know about them. I'm talking about you no know, around my time. They was a Big East, then they went to the ACC. When you was in school, that was Big East. Mm -hmm. No like way. My freshman year. No way. Google that. I don't know about that. All one. Right. Maybe a little couple years before that, but I know that's I watch I, Big East. I know. I seen. 2004 is when Miami okay. and Virginia Tech joined the ACC. Okay, yeah, that was a wild. Yeah, I'm yeah, about to say, I said, no way. Okay, okay. but still, though, that's still kind of recent. That's though. Still recent. 2004, yeah, it is, yeah. It is kind of recent. I didn't know that. Okay. That's the like first time my number's been off like that. Um. <laughs> it's all good. It's all yeah. good. But it's college, bro. Shit, bro. You, 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 you in the league now, yeah, you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You in the league, man. That college it's shit. Open door. But uh, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Raw Room. We in this bitch. And I know you see we got a guest. I saw we got a, a big-ass nigga coming. <laughs> My biggest hell, I told you. We got big Raymond Foster in this bitch. Big Ragu. Hell yeah, hey. Now you can rip the high school. Now we got we got to run some shit off real quick. <laughs> rip the high school. Into it. Two yeah. sport athlete. Yeah. University of Tennessee, where he was an all SEC freshman, like your boy. <laughs> okay. Uh and a junior year, he was an all SEC. Uh you get go undrafted to pit 
ball the fuck out for 11 years. Would have been that longer, but you so smart because you like saw the right on the wall when it comes to the business people. You so. know what I'm saying? My boy, he got himself out of there when he wanted to. You know what I'm saying? Now he running around with the PA representing over there up there at Pitt. Now, before we really get started, bro, I got to get some off my chest because if not, it's going to be bothering me the whole time. Let's go. How the hell are you not a Grizzly fan? A Grizzly? Well, I grew up in the 90s. And then I was always okay. a Bulls fan. So I followed the Chicago Bulls. Now, I ain't a diehard Bulls fan, but, like, my entire family was all Bulls. So when the MJ. Grizzly, MJ, yeah, yeah. Pippen, I mean, Pax, sense. and I saw the three-peat yeah. both times. You feel me? So yeah. to yeah. me, it was just like, see, that's where a lot of stuff changed these days, too. It would have been easier to jump ship. Yeah. And go to the Grizz. But yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm a loyalist like that, though. That's my thing. I'm a loyalist, I and I stayed with them. I don't dislike them. I done went to the games and everything. Took my kids. Like, we go down there and kick it there. It was cool. Getting the emails, you want to be a season? No, I don't want to do season <laughs> 10. I want to go, and I'm like, like that much, bro. You see my support? <laughs> I don't like you know that, what I'm saying? So, no, I enjoy I like what Ja got going. I like the whole thing. And, of course, when you go to Memphis... You feel it. Uh, I know a lot of people say the Grizzlies should be in Nashville. Oh, so, no. I ain't nobody else. Oh, said see, nobody here said, but no, nobody if you that. listen to the conversation, the conversation said you bring them here, they're going to grow bigger because the city. Really? Yeah. But if Can you go you to see Memphis. John Morant in, in Nashville? I, could I? No. I, mean, I, I, I would say, it, as far no. as this no. is the one thing, the one thing that gets me, you got to, the people in power got to make Memphis a little bit more attractive. For sure. Now, we yeah, didn't, we didn't had this conversation too yeah. many times. We have. have you, y'all done been there. Yeah, I'm You familiar. drive past FedEx, okay, the farm, and then you leave that little bubble. That, yeah, it's, it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. It's, it's a wrap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the only thing that would be a little bit more attractive, okay, saying, okay, have them here. But Memphis is what made me stop playing basketball, too. Because they you basketball. The, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, dogs it, out there. It's, it's, it's real serious. There, like, so yeah. the yeah. culture, the Grizzlies belong there. 100%. Yeah. If you understand what Memphis basketball is to the city, then mm -hmm. you can understand why the Grizzlies will probably never move. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, but no, nah, I was a Chicago Bulls fan growing up. Jordan, of course, the debate, Jordan, LeBron, and yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. always going to side with Jordan. That's, That's just me. But me I can too. understand why uh, LeBron is who he is too, though. Absolutely. Yeah. You feel me? Absolutely. Everyone has a place. I feel like everyone just has a place. Where y'all let on that conversation though, because y'all ain't that y'all ain't young. See, but, uh, I know basketball just, though. You so where you at? So I mean, like I said, I just feel like everyone has this place. Okay. All and right. for me, I always have stock in winning. This is me personally. Okay. And the way that you win is very, very, very important. Yeah. And for me, the reason why I have Mike, Kobe, Magics, those in that conversation yeah. is the way that they won. Homegrown. I've been here, built this, mm -hmm. and I, you know. My yeah, my absolutely. record speaks for okay. itself. Absolutely, I just feel like in in this day and, day, and like I, and again, I'm not taking nothing away from Bron, right? Because Bron is a winner as well, hundred percent. But um, you talking about being homegrown and building something? He didn't build Cleveland until he left Cleveland. Until he left and came back. Yeah, and yep. that's in 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 Miami. He didn't build. Dwayne Wade built that. You see yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So it's just to me, he had the Lakers. He ain't no tag along. He ain't a tag along. But that wasn't the his baby. had to be exact. There we go. Okay. So All that's right. why I am with it. Skill wise, though, I mean, listen, man. Like LeBron James is freaking two seventy six nine. <sighs> Magic Johnson. I mean, I, I, you know, you can't you can't yeah. di dispute the actual talent. But I just to me, the way you win is very important. That's just my yeah. Opinion. And that's that. I think that's what kind of gets me a little bit with it too. I'm a mind guy. Like mm -hmm. I like. Undrafted, you feel me? Like yeah, everything yeah. that we do is like I got carried away for. I was gonna finish your accolades, but I got carried away with that Grizzlies question. No, nah, you I got had to. read that about. I read that. I was like, oh, we <laughs> moving that up to number one on this. <laughs> Ain't no hate list. on the Grizzlies. I support the home team. All things home team I'm with. Yeah. But uh, with LeBron, like the mentality, and, and he's had some killer moments. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when you see somebody like, if it's my motto from the day I learned it to, to where football became a business. If it's a game between me and you, I'm going to step on your neck to get what I want. Mm -hmm. I'm going to dap you up after the fact. But I got met with that early on in mm -hmm. camp. It was two mm -hmm. 73s on roster. They drafted the guy. That's the worst. And I was the undrafted 73. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy, the guy that wore 73 before us was gone. So it's really like That's, somebody oh, going to get yeah, this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we lined up, dog. And uh, the D-line coach, who's assistant to head coach, mm -hmm. uh, James Mitchell, was uh, John Mitchell. Uh, historical black player, man, played at Alabama, one of the first black players on the Bear Barn and everything. So when he speak, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. whole room shut yeah, up and listen. Yeah. So we lining up, and y'all know how camp is, one-on-ones every day. Yes. But then it was getting close to that first cut, 
in that first, uh, we had just played in that first preseason game. And he hit us with, I don't know if y'all see what's going on, but it's two 73s. Mm. One on D and one on O. Only one of y'all gonna make it. Mm. Mind you, we was homies. Dang, that's how I get you. Roommates. How, if we went to snack, I'm walking with him yeah. or with the group. And I'm like, damn. Yeah. yeah. I got like, it. I got what? it. Get you, though. Mind you, though, my situation, well, his situation was the same. I just had a kid. Kid had open heart surgery. I ain't get uh, drafted. Yeah. I got all yeah. that going on. I told my uh, girl, now my wife, now it's like, I'll see you on the bye week. Yeah. Dumb as hell. Not really realizing yeah. what yeah. I'm saying, because I ain't really understand it. But when he presented me with that, though, like, only one of y'all can make it. Mm. He gotta go. Well, he got to. Go. This, bro. Mm. Yeah, that bro, was. I'm, I'm there that. though. You That's feel your me? rookie year. You come there undrafted yeah. out of Tennessee, bro. Yeah. Now I I was undrafted. The same thing. I ain't get. I'm sitting in my sister's house waiting on somebody. Just waiting on just me. anybody. But <laughs> did you have any other offers other than Pittsburgh? Bring you wanted to bring you in. Craziest thing ever. So I tell you the whole foreshadow of it all. Craziest thing ever. After the draft, I probably had like 13 calls coming in. Wow. Like priority free agents. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah. understand none of this, but later in the seventh, I'm talking about had calls. Hey, we're we gonna take you free agents. I had like 13 calls, like offers mm -hmm. on the table. The ones I was real serious about: Jets, uh, Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Cincinnati, AFC North teams. Yeah. Uh, and I think Kansas City was out there. Those are teams I was really looking into. Mm -hmm. My decision came down to I didn't want to go to New York because of taxes. I already knew that. Uh, Cleveland was on me the hardest. Had it not been for my agent at the time, mm. I'd have probably gone, except there was this one little blip. Cle Cleveland, undrafted, uh, offered me $2,500 to sign. But they recruited me the hardest, so I was attracted to that, though. Mm -hmm. And, like, the, the scout was all over me, and Pittsburgh came with eight grand <laughs> <laughs> as a priority. Hey, that yeah. was huge back then. I was like, hey, let's yeah, go. Yeah. But uh, the Jets offered me sixteen. They actually mm. offered the highest amount. Damn. But I knew taxes at the time. Yeah. That was going to be cut in half. That's really eight. Um, my agent told me it's Pittsburgh's Atlanta opportunity. I was so dug in. I'm sure it was, too, as far as the draft goes. I ain't even realized. And I told them that. They had won the Super Bowl. Hmm. The year before I got uh, to them, in 08, they won the Super Bowl. I was just so locked in it didn't register. Didn't even, yeah. But he just told me Pittsburgh's Atlanta opportunity. I was probably, like, that close to going to Cleveland because the want was there. Mm -hmm. It was the most, you know, disheartening thing ever. And I'm sitting there watching draft with my kid, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. I got... He yeah. RJ. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah. hey, we gonna celebrate this together. And I, I broke down. I was just like, how? Of course, yeah. playing at Tennessee, SEC, starts, you all that. that me, yeah. bruh. You want And what's crazy about it, well, as soon as I get to Pittsburgh, they were like... Um, you know we had you as a third rounder. What, what you <laughs> mean? What the hell? You, what you mean? I walk in the weight room. You know how they introduce everybody to yeah. the building. Strength coach is in there. Assistant strength coach. Assistant O-line coach. Another guy walks up. Man, we had you as a third, fourth rounder. I don't know how we got you. I'm like, I don't know how the hell you got me <laughs> yeah, either. Yeah, like, but that was immediately like walking into the weight room, getting introduced to how they do stuff. I got told that like four times by different people. Mm -hmm. Different people. And what's wild is when I retired, um, Pittsburgh actually sent me my draft slip. And on my draft slip from them said three to five. Wow. They ended up picking the guy. So my thing was I've heard wow. other people be like, I wonder why I didn't. They actually told me why I didn't and showed me where they actually had me at. I was slated as a tackle, but I ran a damn five, 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 six. So I'm not tackle NFL speed because everybody has everybody, a pecking yeah. order on how they yeah. do stuff. Yeah. Um, and it was a thought I could play guard, but most people, it's like telling the D lineman go pay, play playoff. Inside. You feel me? D or yeah, yeah, yeah some yeah. like changing positions. Like I was, they didn't know if that was gonna be possible. Yeah. Um, but uh, my forty was too slow. Crazy thing about my forty, I caught a nosebleed <laughs> right before I was supposed to run. Oh, <laughs> you nervous? And Andy, the I had to. I, I heated up. I don't know where it came from. Like, and I was running live on TV too. It's oh, out man. there. You oh, see me yeah. running. Oh, don't worry. We finna pull oh, that. Worry, <laughs> man, we got it. My, if you see me Fade running, like <laughs> my head is like tilted back, and you see me sniffing because mm. I'm like trying to stop blood from coming out. Oh man, that's you yeah. You see me holding my head up as long as I can. Oh, you you definitely. <laughs> yeah. So I was botched from the beginning. Like, man. And, and oh man, God's plan. I didn't question it. I was just trying to. Make whatever happened. When was happen. the moment that you knew you were going to make the team? When was the moment? Yeah. 
Uh, when the old heads started coming up to me more. When the old heads mm -hmm. start like, mm -hmm. like when was that like preseason? Like we I was preseason going into game three and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. that's what yeah. And I went in early. And that's how you're yeah. <laughs> if you young, yeah. you out the game before. Oh, yeah, man, I, I, I remember your story because like you, 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 like you was like, yo, I got, I got to get back out right, there. Yeah, I got, <laughs> I'm going against Jared Cook in practice. I just like separated my shoulder. Yeah, we popped that jump back in. There. I was like, no, nah, I gotta go back, got back out there. The train was like, no, 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 you got, no, you good, you gotta stay there. And I was like, nah, fuck yeah. that, I gotta go. I feel he was you. Like, trust me, you good. <laughs> Oh, let's oh. go to the train roll. Let's go to the train roll in. <laughs> Put some ice on this bad boy, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was that in, uh, it was that in, uh, Coach, it was Co Coach Tomlin, one of the most transparent coaches you'll meet. He called me out like the first day I got worked. And yeah. first day in pass, I got worked by the old heads. He put me up on the big board. I thought I was done. But after I caught up to that point, it was like, okay, if I just fight, just yeah. dog them. Hey, what, if I just what grind. I told y'all. What I tell y'all. Yeah, and like that's that's the recipe. If I just fight, grind, go, I'm gonna be yep. straight. And that's all they told me in the beginning. Just fight, just go. Yep. And uh we were walking the snack. And Coach Tomlin came out, he was working out. Hey, Foster, big moan, no, big moan. Come here. What's up, coach? And he was just, how you feel? I feel all right. How you feel you doing? Feel pretty good about it. Okay, good. Just keep doing that. Like this was mono and mono from the guy. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, okay. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Get right. So, yeah. so I got I gotta ask, before or after, did he know that you was a capital before or after that? Uh <laughs> I gotta ask the question. Because Tomlin, it's funny you say that. They just drafted the kid from Memphis. Uh, oh snap, bro. Uh, the running back. Uh the receiver. Austin? Austin. Uh yeah. not Terrell Austin. Calvin, Calvin Austin. Calvin, 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 Calvin Austin. Austin. Third. Yeah. What's crazy is Pittsburgh has always just had like a cap or two on the team. A noop on the team. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Yes, see, he is. See, he yeah, a cap at beta. So I, yep. I, I, I went to Memphis. Okay, yeah. I'm an alpha, though. So yeah, I, okay. that's why I had, I had to ask the question. Of that's course, all right. so of course. Win, move, man, move, move, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. I, I had to ask. Grant Wood alumni, absolutely. So. Another question for you. You said earlier, because uh, I, just, I just think this is, for me, just like the financial literacy part of sports. You going in and knowing what the situation was going to look like for you going to New York versus going to Cleveland as far as Texas and all that. Who, where, how did you know the information? Who who taught you that? I always knew New York was expensive. That was, okay. I'm not saying that I knew it holistically, but just saying, like, I knew that if I got paid there, I, it was expensive to live there. We from the South. Right, mm -hmm. right, I was right, like, right. going up there, like, where am I going to stay at? Jersey, okay. And then uh, I had some, going to Tennessee was like a melting pot, too. I had partners from Jersey, New mm -hmm. York, you know what I'm saying, Philly and stuff like that. And it was just the idea that everything was super expensive. I knew that. Like, a lot of them dudes came down, didn't know how to drive. You feel me? Or they were just straight hustlers and they had a reason to because, one, that's how they live, but two, like, you got to survive in those big cities like that and just... Mm. I knew I wasn't ready for that and I knew I wasn't ready for uh, the taxes aspect of it, which is pretty insane. That in California was the only two places I said is a no-go for me. Yeah, okay. I, don't play, I, only got to, I only played that one time, one year. I was straight off of that shit. Yeah. I was like, man, I don't want to go back. It was cool, though. Thank you, Raider fans. Thank you, Raiders. Oakland, love it. <laughs> I man, loved it. Yeah. One season, baby. Get me out of here. The taxes hit you, though? <sighs> Did yeah. they? Yeah. They rent? All that. Man. Saw, like you had to have a roommate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but we had a couple people have roommates. But see, I, I had kids that. and... Big ass dog. That's nothing. Then you can't find no backyard. Oh. I got Caesar with me. He need to. Oh, he yeah. need to get around. Facts, oh. facts, facts, facts. Oh, facts, blooded facts. man. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Just, I'm always just curious about that because I mean, like, we we, we actually had a topic just uh, even about you know with the uh, I, I guess it was like a, a guy that was complaining about the uh, Ricky Mills or whatever yeah. and people talking about like you know oh. financial literacy. And it's yeah, like I mean, true. like when hey, did that start? Did you see that, did you you see that video? They was on. I think on I am athlete. And one somebody just got drafted this year. He was, he was oh, it was well. Uh, I think it was. You talking about the rookie party stuff? That he know the uh, dinners. The dinners, yeah, yeah it was yeah, with yeah. Uh, Ron Clark's. Uh, yeah, Pivot. Ron Clark on Pivot. Yeah, That's what it was Pivot. Pivot. Yep, and he yep. was saying like he was explaining to them. He, he didn't know like the you no. Know, they be trying to tax your head. He was like, oh yeah, we got. They told me about the rookie dinner. He was like, nah. So did you ever have you had a rookie dinner? Or would have you yeah. been to one that you? Tom Brady, that thing? Because you heard nah. about Tom Brady. Uh, well, I'll say this. Before I got in Pittsburgh, they had a rookie offensive line, and they pretty much just got dragged. Damn. But it was to his own undoing. They told uh, him to order before you get, like, everybody get their own special bottle. 
Chris yep. Dahl, Louis the 13th, yep. Ennis, whatever you want. The vets get their own bottle. They told him, go to the liquor store and get the bottles before you get there. And the yep. fact that he didn't and didn't gift wrap them and all those types of things, they ordered from the bar. Ooh. And his ended up being about, on a, his, Ooh. and let's go to 2008. This was uh, like 30000 ish maybe, <laughs> just because he didn't. He just because he, did, did, he didn't go. You feel me to the liquor store? Because think about a bottle in, in a I club know, or absolutely, whatever. Absolutely, yeah. 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 It's you don't get the max. Uh, right. So my rookie Sheesh. year, man, ours capped out. They put a cap on it because the year before, like, yeah. it reached, like, front office. Oh, so yeah, it's like, yeah, Coach Thomas was like, no, nah, shut this shit down. We, we ain't yeah. doing this. Yeah. Um, so they put a cap on ours. We had a third rounder, seven rounder, and me undrafted making the team. Seven rounder was on practice squad, but he got a signing bonus. Third rounder was uh, Craig Urbic, and he got like 750 to sign. So we were yeah. straight. He paid, uh, he paid 12, I paid six, and AQ Shipley uh, paid two. So, so you got I had to say you got lucky. Yeah. I had a first round in my room. Did Ogletree, you? I, oh yeah, I got lucky. Fuck. <laughs> what? <laughs> I had a first round in my yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> right. right. Ride this way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where we going, yeah. Tree? Where we going, bro? <laughs> Hell yeah. And yeah. hey, where you get the nickname Big Ragu? Man, uh, like spaghetti. we from Tennessee, man. What's that? You like spaghetti. <laughs> no. <laughs> my lasagna fire. Oh, Ooh, is that right? About so Coming oh, from West Tennessee. It's, no, it's like that. Yeah, yeah. So um, everywhere I gone in college, as soon as I moved off, I was like, shit, we got to start cooking. Like, I ain't going to mm -hmm. be spending all this bread. And I made my lasagna for my roommates. Yeah. And they started talking about it, and everybody started talking about it. So when I get to the league, I'm trying to save money. They had us ordering Thursdays was our link-up nights. Mm -hmm. Have us ordering all type of stuff from Capitol Grill and all the steakhouses. Yeah. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna cook this week. Like, we gonna save some more bread. And I made oh my it. God, this is my thing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. cooking, goddamn. Uh, so Ben, uh, so so the, they talked about it. we did it Friday, we did it Thursday night, and Friday they went in talking about it. So I got around the building and I made a, a pretty good lasagna. And uh, two guys, Tunch, uh, Craig Wolfley, and Tunch Ilkin. R.I.P. to Tunch, man. He passed this past uh, year from I ALS. Mm -hmm. um, but they was like, what is it? Why is everybody talking about it? Must be the sauce. Must be the sauce. Ragu. <laughs> <laughs> Big ragu is what Big ragu. Big ragu. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. Must be the sauce. Yeah, be the sauce, man. I got it's another not, main I got question. I got another main question. Yeah. Now, where did the goon squad come from? <sighs> Well, from the mud and just being real. Yeah. Like, the Goon Squad came from when we was younger. So when I came in, it was Willie Cologne, Max Starks. It was the old heads. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's a bunch of names. Um, the guys that took us under their wings and, you know what I'm saying, did their thing. So when they started transitioning out, it was me, Marquise, Marcus Gilbert, Kelvin Beecham was there with mm -hmm. us. Then the Castro came in. And we really just, like, took some lumps. Like, really, for, uh, Fernando Velasco, former Titan, was with us for a little bit. And we just took some lumps. Like, an O-line is five guys. It's got to work this one. Mm -hmm. And we get to a position in which, like, y'all young, y'all starting, y'all got a whole lot of talent. And true, just being real with you, in practice, games, we were just like, fuck it. Let's go. Yeah. Like, whatever it is you asking for, we going to do it. If it came to fighting in practice, we was going to do it. If you push one of ours, we was going to push you too. And we got so tight, especially when Alejandro came along too and Gil was there. Dave mm -hmm. was like, you look at us transition from like 2011, 2012. We was wearing standard NFL uniforms. Yeah, y'all turned y'all swag. And then if you look at that up. picture on the computer, we weren't mostly black socks. Yep. Yeah. And like we was together in like meeting room. We was together okay. in the building. We ate breakfast together. Like nobody messed with it. You know how the end season signings come. They'll bring a young D lineman in and stuff like that. And they trying mm -hmm. to go hard. Man, <laughs> man, that's how I brought lost three chains <laughs> this year, bro. <laughs> damn, bro. From I don't remember your name, bro. <laughs> see, see what I'm saying? God and damn. and one day he was just going stupid hard, and we was in the indoor on turf at that. Oh yeah, don't. don't. And we ended up having to like jump the dude. Like <laughs> it was, it got real raw in practice. And Coach <laughs> T, and we just became like, nah, don't 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 fuck with him. Yeah. Like we won old and grumpy group, but like we had took a whole lot of crackers. One, the group before us got the ring, and the group before them got the ring too. Mm. And we was just trying to figure out, okay, oh, if yeah. for anything, we're gonna set our own thing up and make it happen. And we just we was actually real friends. Yeah. Like we actually like I had kids. Marquise had a kid. I saw everybody on that line like either get married, have kids, mm -hmm. and we were just so tight to where I went through the brotherhood. Yeah. yeah. So it just coach T goon squad, like leaders. Like it would that 
they will literally walk in on uh, the week. And who has a crazy D line? Let's let's go Baltimore. Baltimore. It's on y'all. That's just what he say. Mm. We gonna make it out. It's on y'all. You know Dean P sending you, that. You shit. feel me? Like that's what we mm. was and playing New Orleans or coming down mm. here and playing like it's on y'all to get us up out of the stadium. Yeah. And the goons lead us, and it just went from there, man. Ain't nothing. I'll be real with you. The game, I'll probably whatever leave the game alone. But like mm. that brotherhood, that identity with them. I can see why a lot of guys struggle leaving the game, too. Absolutely. You feel me? Like, Absolutely. I ain't miss, I don't miss the physicality of the game. I miss the bullshitting around and yeah. practice, you know, the jokes. Yeah. I tell anybody, like, the world within the world is like what's in your meeting rooms, yep. Yep. how y'all talk, the way we would yep. have a secret lingo that nobody else nobody understand. Nobody else even know, yeah. But, like, that's what you Hell miss. Yeah. You feel me? That day to day interaction, it's, it was a, uh, Dude, we had a six squad. It was it was so good as far as us clicking together, the five, six of us, uh, seven of us, because Chris Hubbard was another guy that left and went and got paid. That was the thing, too. Everybody came under us, got paid, too. Yeah. Hubbard left and got paid. Gilbert left and got paid. Like, uh, uh, Beecham left and got paid. Like, a lot of guys, like, if you play, you start, you're going to be all yeah. right. Yeah. And um, But we didn't get the ring as a group. That's what I was just getting to. You done went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I went. Mm. Green Bay Packers versus Green Bay Packers. Ain't ain't nothing we could have did on them passes he threw. You <laughs> got Troy God on the back end. Them hoes. Hey, <laughs> you you needed a a, a a six foot vertical to get the ball that he was getting to. But he just you go back and look at that game. It took me a while to go back and look at, it, and I really hadn't looked at the whole thing yeah. yet. Damn, yet this is 2010. Yeah, still hadn't looked at the entire game. The way he just diced him and Jordan Nelson, just mm -hmm. I was just like, yup, he he that dude. And I think it was one of them like you felt it as the game was going on. No, because was we was like we was we was killing it. Mm -hmm. Like they jumped out early and we jumped back. It took a you play in, I'm telling you, it's gonna take a while to calm down. Oh, yeah. It, man, I played a national championship and I was slipping all on the floor dog. before the game even got started. Hey, <laughs> listen, man. Nervous as hell. Ooh, the nerves, the flashing of the cameras, like all of that. Like, it's, 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 it's bright. It's bright. I license, see why you chase license. it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. So, playing, like, slip, when it slipped away, it was, it was a fumble that happened on the end zone. I actually saw him actually say something about that reason. Shaw Mendenhall was like, if you look at that, it wasn't on my fault. He missed, he said he missed the handoff. He never secured the ball. It's pretty wild. Uh, mm. But when that happened, I was like, yup, this is it, though. Damn. We was in it because the defense was very solid. And that was another thing, too, that kind of happened. We lost Pounce that game because he broke his ankle. Mm -hmm. We was playing with a backup uh, at the time, and they just really, okay, let's go to work. That was yeah. one of the things we couldn't prevent. Uh, Pounce had to play one or two of those pressures, three, four of those pressures could have been a little bit different for us being in the pocket. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's a... Dog, it's a very fine line. But I'll say this. The lead up to it, the ride to knock this team off. Luckily, knock this team off. And then knock this team off was... That is a hell of a feeling. I'm man. telling you. What were y'all uh, uh, Were y'all seeded? We were, I think, like a three seed. Okay. And uh, the Jets went into Kansas City. They won. The and game. they beat Kansas yes, City. And we that. saw them for yes. that. And that's I, the bar scot. Yep. Yeah, I remember that shit. I remember. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. you want to talk about bulletin board material? Yes, though. sir. He, he wasn't talking to us, but we made it like, like he was the, talking uh, to us. Y'all, yeah. Michael Jordan, that shit. You can't know we was a two because we hosted. We was a two seed. We was like, you can't wait to play us. Oh, okay, Ooh. all right, come on. So it was, dog. I'm telling you, it had you, nothing to do with that. It had yeah. nothing to do with that. Nothing. But Everybody again, was talking about somebody last year. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the media doubted them. But it's so freaking <laughs> mental, though, like, yeah. on how you get yourself going. I was explaining that to somebody. Like, dog, you know what you got to go through to get up for a game or to train or to, like, it, the smallest thing is, like, motivation. And so him saying that was real life, like, okay, we going to see that. This is what we about to anchor to. Yeah. Let's go get the job done. Yeah. Who did y'all beat to? Y'all beat them to go we to the Super Bowl? We beat uh, the Jets to go to. We were on the fields. Doing the jets flying stuff oh, and man. everything. Yeah, I didn't been on that side of disrespect. What we look? I didn't been on that side. Yeah, watching Earl Clark talk all the shit to us in the world. Can't do shit about it. <laughs> just didn't look at him. Just gotta look at him. Just gotta watch all them boys high five like a oh. bro. You can't do shit. <laughs> Victor go to spoils, baby. Nah. Making it to, to the league as an undrafted free agent, you gotta have a whole bunch of shit. But one of the main things is I I think is which I feel like you 
you know, it's work ethic. Yeah. Like, you got to be able to work hard. You got to be able to put in the time that nobody, I know it sounds cliche, but that nobody else doing it, you still, you got to put in the extra, especially being an undrafted free agent. Yeah. Do you, do you, what was you, what were you doing? What was you doing, like, as far as putting in that extra time, that extra grind, but even before you even got to yeah. Pittsburgh? Because uh, you still, because when that draft was over, you knew you was going to be undrafted. Yeah. And you knew at that time, some guy clicked, and I just got to go in unconscious mode work. and just go. Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest thing for me, man, was, one, I would say noticing my flaws. I know I wasn't fast. Never mm -hmm. had been. I think I ran a 4-9 one time going to some of my senior year, and I think my coach lied. <laughs> <laughs> just being real. You feel me? Like, 4-9. He never coach, showed like, me the clock. But I knew that. I knew if I was going to be somebody, I had to be stronger. I know I had to be technically uh, technically sound and the mental aspect of it. Like, you can get me. We've battled. You know, get me. Cool. So you don't have to see me again. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm never backing down. I think that was the one thing that really kind of hardened me. Um, and this is the other aspect of it, too. I always made it feel like, or, or it may have been that way, too, like somebody's chasing me. Like, I, mm -hmm. even in the offseason, I was never off. And you probably still that way, too. Like, I'm, yeah, but yeah, yeah. imagine you being a first-rounder, though. You'd probably be a little bit more. Relax. Yeah, yeah, facts. You feel me? Facts, facts. But for me, I was never off. Like, I would, like, come home and just, like, I ain't gonna say couldn't sleep, but my mind is thinking about stuff while I'm sleeping. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where I was with just trying to survive. Like, I, I, I told somebody this recently. While I was in Pittsburgh, they... At least I thought this way. I thought they had somebody behind me the entire time. And lo and behold, it was really nobody. The dude that I thought was my biggest competition went free agency to somebody, got cut within two months and on another team. No, got traded. And so that's what you realized. Like, you was like, ah, oh, I psyched shit. myself out. You feel me? Yeah. <laughs> but the, the stuff that I did, though, yeah. like, uh, shout out to my, my trainer, James, man. James uh, Wilson. Um, I met him, man, at uh, D1, and he ended up going to another place, and I just stuck with him. I got stronger because I was like, you're going to meet me in the phone booth. Don't go nowhere else. Yeah. You're going to meet me in the phone booth. <laughs> and you bull me. I'm a big dude. I knew that. I'm going to use that against you. I look this way, but I'm moving real nice, though, okay? Like, that was, was a hooper. Thing. Tell you, you a hooper. Hooper. Yeah. You know, I'm a sport athlete, all of that. <laughs> um, but, wait, I, I, but the thing is, I knew this. I knew because I was a bigger lineman, I had to be conditioned. Like, we start off the day running 60-yard box, and then you go crossways, then you run back, and then you finish, and then we run a sprint, then we do the sand pit, and then we go lift, and then we finish up on the treadmill. Like, for a lineman, I enjoy running because I knew in the moments that I would get tired, I couldn't. You feel yeah, me? Like, yeah, that was yeah. that was the one thing that yeah. I knew I had to do yeah. as far as, and the way we played, too, with the no huddle. I'm like, I got to be right because the moment I'm lagging is the moment that, look, the quickest path to the, to the quarterback is through me. Mm -hmm. I'm at guard. You're going to be right there up on Ben, so I can't allow that. And then also with him behind me, he added that little bit of... Hell, he was a lineman himself. <laughs> <laughs> ben, <laughs> man. He was my biggest <laughs> hell. But he took the job serious, yeah. and he kind of challenged us to the point where it was like, shit, it ain't going to be on me giving up a sack. Mm -hmm. And then if we gave up one, it wasn't a big deal. But you took it hard because, like you said, that group that we called ourselves the Goon Squads was just one of them things that mm. don't be that guy. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And Munch kind of put that in us too. Uh, Mike Munchak, he was just technique every day, mm -hmm. um, holding each other accountable. I don't care if it's the smallest little thing. And uh, we just, I, I really bought into it a whole lot, man. And uh, the conditioning aspect of it and footwork was what saved me the longest. And again, everybody gonna get beat. I just had not to take it as serious as I used to, you know, yeah. or. It's, I can't. I couldn't let it bleed. Something you happened. You knew at that time you could maybe give a. Yeah. You, know you got a little little leeway that. Yeah. I, yeah. Coach, no, I ain't finna keep on doing. Exactly. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. To consi be either consistently bad yes. or consistently good. Well, the consistently bad will have you home real fast. Feel me. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't seen it, goddamn. Yeah. I got a question for you. I want. You guys on. I do because no, go, no, 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 I was no. about to change it over to Tennessee because I you know. Well, so I, 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 I wanted, I two, wanted to go to Tennessee. My uncle, big ass Tennessee fan. Really? He got bro, everything Tennessee. So that's how I, I grew up. But I wanted to go play yeah. Phil Farmer. Yeah. Like that's what I wanted to do. Well, you you come out. Oh, wait, like you your rookie year was my freshman year. Get out of here. Your rookie year was my freshman year. Yeah, your rookie year was my freshman year. Okay. But 
Hell, we still played against each other in 2016. Yeah, we did. In Tennessee, when we came down to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Y'all kicked our ass up down there, bitch. I wasn't going to bring that up, dog. I, mean, <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I did it was the way he said that, too. He was so nice. But I, I like the player. I was going to bring it up because that was my first time in Pittsburgh. I'm talking about we rolled around the day before. We went to the mall and some yeah. shit. I'm just looking around. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. And I'm thinking, well, we going to be all right. You know, we yeah. got Marcus Mariota. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so brought, out, brought out our powder blue jersey. Yeah. Man, well, AB they... had a fucking hey. day. He, but that's what stars do, though. It was <laughs> Thursday night, wasn't it? Thursday night. Thursday night. Prime night. time. Oh. AB had a night. He had a night. That's when I first played. That was probably my second time playing against Pittsburgh, but the first time I think I was with the Rams, it was a preseason game. Yeah. But yep. this was my first time, bro. And I, you know, I'm on the field goal block team, you know, but I'm off the ball. I was like, but these niggas all big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> like, I had seen some linemen yeah. like that. You yeah. know, and I used to walk, and I used to be running by them linemen, like fucking with them yeah, talking yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't said none of these niggas. <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, exactly. What's crazy? So, what y'all is my, is that Wood, my partner? That's, what, dog, yeah, that's yeah. my partner, man. So, we running the screen. I'll never forget this. <laughs> Me and Wood been going at it for the longest. Oh, we yeah. the SEC stuff. Oh, so his, yeah. He, Kentucky, I'm yeah. Tennessee. I saw Wood, Wood by, by far is the hardest hitter. Bruh, talk I to had him. ever gone into. Eight, okay, two, twenty-five. That man don't get enough respect. <laughs> yeah, like his career and just his leadership too. Of yeah. course, you know. But like the way he played the game, Wood came down in college. I'm like, who the hell hits like this, man? <laughs> and at that point, we became homies. Uh, he was in Denver with my homeboy Rob Ayers. Like, yeah. man, Wood. You gotta be afraid with somebody that hit hit like that. No, <laughs> no, for real. You feel you me? You be my friend, right? But there. <laughs> but that game, though, that game, which is crazy, man. We messed around. We running the screen and we running it left, which we was breaking tendencies at that point. We running oh, my yeah. side. I'm in space. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. So we set it up, Wood dropping the coverage, and I see him, and I'm thinking to myself, Tennessee, Kentucky game. I'm oh, not bro. about to hit this man head on. Oh, yeah. Okay. And what's crazy, we always kind of you know what I'm saying? Knuck up yeah. and hit each other. I cut his ass. No. Oh, I knew you about to say you cut him. <laughs> he was, he was, he was, he was mad. Oh, he was. he was mad. He know he was like, off to get her. Yeah. Oh, bro, he you was know. not expecting no. that. Oh, but God. I cut his ass. The one thing I remember about that game, boy, I cut the hell out of West because I was just the game. I was no nah, man. And it was cold as fuck out there too. It was. I enjoyed that one. But you know, being at Tennessee, playing in the SEC, like we're saying. You had those games, you remember, like those big games, away games, not even at Tennessee, because, you know, y'all already been yeah, 700,000 for years. Yeah. So, away games, you know, those Alabama games, Auburn games, yeah. Florida games. Like, what do you remember? It had a couple stick out to you? Yes, LSU, 2005. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let me ask y'all this too. We, when, when you hear Death Valley, what school do you think of? Oh, Clemson? Think of LSU, no. No, LSU. Okay, all right. Thank you. Yeah. All right, LSU. 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 Playing in LSU after Katrina happened. Uh, that crowd was crazy. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm talking yeah, about crazy. insane, yeah, yeah. crazy, man. We ended up winning there on a crazy play at, towards the end of the game. But 2005, LSU was sick. Um, anytime we played at Georgia, watching Eric Berry knock Noshawn Marino so hard on the sideline that he rolled over. Like, we, we, and I always respect every opponent, but Georgia was one of those teams that yeah. until really recently, you could always just get. No matter where we were, whether we were above 500 mm -hmm. or, you know what I'm saying, like 10 and 2 or so whatever the case may have been, I always felt like we could get Georgia. Yeah. Yeah, we always went into there and uh, played Georgia pretty tight. Georgia was pretty wild. South Carolina, they had an all-blackout one night. They don't get enough respect. I don't like their stadium. They're, they right up on you. Uh, you know, like, I, feel like, I they, feel like that's how more LSU is way closer than, the, than, than South Carolina. I I mean, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they no, redid it. At nighttime, time, though, you, I, I think it was like, I ain't and they had a blackout, like, and it was a televised game to where yeah. I felt like they, their student section in the end zone was like right on the field. Mm. Florida was always crazy. I never played a night game there, though. I never got to play in Florida. Uh uh. Um, who else, man? Yeah, Alabama. The year Saban yeah. came in and just really took off. That crowd was yeah. pretty sick. I know I mean, y'all Kentucky and playing at Kentucky. I know that she's giving. Nah, it, Kentucky was never nothing. Nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Look, I, hey, I remember the time. One time I played to y'all live. Y'all loud as hell. We still won though. Oh, uh, but we we did play them to win. We played five overtimes uh, at Kentucky in 2007 to go to the SEC five. championship. Old school five. We start at the 20 and yeah, walk it in. Yeah. 
And uh, we beat them to go to the SEC championship that year. You see the new rules they got in college football overtime now? I missed that one. I'm sorry. Man, listen here. I ain't know what the fuck was going on. I'm watching. I'm at the Iron Bowl. I'm standing right there. Yeah. They trading go touchdowns, driving, trading, driving and trading. I'm like, ooh, we finna get the ball back, man. Let's go. I see them get the ball back to Bama. Yeah. These folks score. I'm sorry. Like, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. What's going on? Wait, then Auburn get the ball. Yeah, that's what I said. Then okay. Auburn get the ball. They didn't score game over. Wow. I like on the two yard line. line. If the ball is on the two yard line, I forgot to tell you that. Ball starts on the two yard line. Yeah. It just takes a turn and see who's. What, how, how many overtimes was it before they did that? Because you remember this past two, year, was three, it Penn two? State? And yeah, that, somebody that, had uh, like six or six, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Overtime. I'd rather see those. I, I, didn't be, I didn't been on one of those like we were playing Northwest it. in the bowl game. We won like three three uh overtime. So like fake, hey, you said like they just have to go for a, a two point conversion is what he said. After right? after you after, after you get two different chances. Oh, yeah, okay. two chances you gotta go. Okay. 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 You gotta no that is you just do two points. You just go for twos. Yeah. Damn. It ain't no you gotta do a two though. No, you just going for two. Oh, he's going for two, two going for on a two yard line. So if you don't make yours and the, the, then the other team get a chance and they make their game over. Wow. Bro, I'm hot, bro. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> and somebody explained it to me. out, But that's... All right, bro. <laughs> Whatever you say, man. Thank y'all for listening to part one of Counter Butter with Big Rat Goo. Man, y'all stay tuned. Next week, we're going to come in on part two, some heat. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And don't forget the can of dips. Hey, we got the can of dips. Hey, raw room, cold raw room. The link is on there. It's all there. We'll see you guys next week.